That's how you start your mornings, let me tell you. <laughs> What's up guys? My name's Dai Chronic Heroes here on this Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today we're gonna be doing the electric bow. Zap 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 zap. Woo! Beep, 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 beep. Anyways, um I've got the bow. Um, so if you guys don't know, the first step to getting the electric bow is getting the bow. <laughs> um, and then uh, once you do that, then you can start with the upgraded bow part where you can split off into four different categories of the four different bow types. And we're gonna start off with this one on the uh, electric bow, my final bow. The actual bow, that seems to be everyone's favorite. Um, not my personal favorite, but seems to be everybody's favorite. The first step on doing it, all you have to do is take your bow and then shoot this weather vane. Once you do that, you'll start, you'll get your arrow. And you can start on the quest. Right here comes, pops out, boom. And you can start on the next part of the thingamajigger. Which is lighting the bonfires. So you can do these bonfires in any order that you want. Ooh, a part. Um, but what you have to understand is that these bonfires are things you gotta remember. So you gotta remember where these locations are even after um, this step here. Uh, so take note of where they are. They're gonna be on fire, so not gonna be hard. But you're gonna need them for future steps, though. Keep an eye on them. I believe that the first one is right there. All right, so uh, take number five, uh, seven, twelve. Uh, let's see if we can hit this thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! I suck at shooting here. Okay, there we go. You gotta hit the top part, and then you gotta light the bonfire with like the spinning fire of doom. I love the fact that it's spinning. So if you just want to come over here, over to the uh, this side over here, you know, this side here. Uh, upper courtyard area. This is the the clock tower. Then you're gonna want to come over to this ledge. This one's an easy one. Hopefully I don't fuck it up after saying that. Okay. I'm on a roll today. Yeah, then you just gotta shoot that one. Um, and that's your second one. The last one's gonna be in the rocket test site, so you need you need some money to get through the rocket test site. Money, 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 money. Um, you will have to come back here for uh, one of the uh, next parts. It's gonna be like a little oin white ale. An oin, but uh, you, know, you never know. Alright, so once you get to the rocket test site, all you have to do is there's the door. You just look to the right over here and you can find the little pile right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss 5,000 times here, guys. Ready for this? Oh, I hit it! Second time. Just kidding. <laughs> and that will be the third and... Oh. The third and final of those uh, little thingamajiggers in the bonfires, you can move on to the next step! Which I have no idea what it is. So the next step, you actually have to go to the uh, Undercroft. The Undercroft, otherwise known as the Croft Batcave. It's the un- oh. What was that? But anyways, all you have to do is you have to run across um, four of these symbols. One of the- like that symbol right there. Um, wall run in one go, so just start wall running on one spot, and I uh, just hit one of them. Here's another one. Um, you just gotta do it without touching the ground and you'll be good. That's another one. Just kinda like look around this wall and that you'll be able to keep along the wall. Um, and then once you do that, then you get all five of them, I think. There it is, last one right there. And then you'll be done with that step. And you move on to the next one. Oh, it's blowing, it's blowing hardcore. Oh, it's blowing so hardcore. Look at doggy. So after you've done that part, then you're gonna want to go over to one of the three urns. These three urns, you can see them with the little sparkly, jibbly bits. Uh, basically, you gotta kill ten zombies near it. Then you gotta pull your arrow, and it will light it with electricity. Each one of these is gonna be near the three uh, bonfire locations. Because what you gotta do is you gotta draw your arrow on it, get electricity, and then fire at that thing and uh, put out the fire with electricity. The way you test if you're done is you go like this, and then you got electricity. That means you got it. I'm gonna draw an arrow. I gotta keep it drawn, so you uh, drawn, so you got the electricity, and then you gotta shoot it at the thing. And I missed. There we go. You know if you got it, if the fire starts, yeah, starts having lightning on it. Yeah, that's a good indication. <laughs> the lightning, that's a good indication. <laughs> the next urn can be found over here. Um, this is where the lower courtyard area is. This little urn right here. Um, what you wanna do is uh, grab it and actually shoot it out this back window here. Hey, what's up, dude? Um, cause that's a bonfire right there, you can see. Less than the top. Yeah, I did! Yeah, I did! Alright, so I did that part, and then I have to head over to the rocket test site, and actually do the last, last urn. Last urn. You can go over there any way you want. Woo! This is the one you have to go the farthest with the, uh, electricity, I guess you could call it. 
I can make it. I'm like a, an Olympic torch bearer. I'm just like, go, 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 go. Ah, oh, I felt like that was close. There we go. That didn't even really hit, so there, it's probably more lenient on that. And then you did the third part out of four of those little uh, thingy-majigga-majiggers. Then you can move on to the one of the last steps of the electric bow. What is it? I have no, I have no idea what it is. Okay, so apparently I can just go pick up the uh, the uh, the electric arrow uh, to go reforge it. Let's go ahead and go do that. <laughs> I feel like Big Eagle! I feel like a Big Eagle! <laughs> oh, okay. Um, then when you know you're gonna be done with this part, uh, if this thing fucking is on fire and, uh, electric and, and whatnot, um, you can pick up your arrow from this little thing here. You just gotta hold X on this thing and it will raise up and, I guess, reforge in the center of that thing. And then once it's done with it, whoo! It'll pop out an arrow for you to recharge or reforge. Then you gotta go collect the souls and you're almost done here. I'm almost done. I get to leave after this. I get to put my booger. Oh man, that booger. I've been saving that booger. Oh yeah, I've been saving that booger for a while. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's everywhere. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, you're funny. You know that game? You're so fucking funny. So funny, bitch. All right. So now all you have to do is put the arrow in the electric socket. Um, be careful. You might kill yourself. You get to get the super electric, powerful, overpowered, uh, Mondo superific. Uh, basically the winter, basically the ice bow from the previous game, but less powerful. Ice bow. Uh, ice staff OP. That's weird. All right, so then once you uh, fill the souls there, it's like 20 souls or something. Not that bad. Uh, then you have to uh, get the thing in the thing, and then you get the Super Bowl. Crema, crema, la amuk, ame, ah, amam, crema la amam. Um, so basically this bow, woo, gonna save me for there a second. The regular attack of the bow is basically just a attack. It also randomly shocks enemies nearby, it seems, and it shoots out like little shocky bits towards the zombies, which is really good. This is probably one of the best standard attacks, but the super charge up attack, that's where it gets me, that's what, that gets, that's what gets me to Krima Allah um, uh, One thing I gotta say about this gun, is, uh, this uh, bow, is that it's so fucking annoying how noisy it is. It's so bad. Oh, wow. I, um... I don't want to talk about it. Alright, so after a, a quick stroll for no reason, um, I, um, I didn't go down. Um, I have, uh, just recouped and gotten a background map. Uh, I've spent some money on doors. Yeah, that, that's what, that's what I spent my money on. I don't want to talk about it. It was just, it was just, I've lost focus. Um, so yeah, you can hear this little thing going off forever and ever. So here's the super attack. It creates, like, a little lightning storm, um, that randomly, that basically picks up zombies and kills them. So you're probably thinking, well, that sounds like the best bow ever. It's an incredibly awesome bow, don't get me wrong, but it has a maximum number of zombies that can attack at one time. So if I shoot this out, it can only like pick up and start killing three to four zombies at one time. So if there's a giant horde behind you, it will not save you just by shooting into it. You're much uh, more likely to survive if you were to just spam it with the regular shots. Uh, another thing to note that it does pick up the panzer, so if um, you shoot it at the pan- oh. As if on cue. As if on cue. If the Panzer comes around, you can actually, um, basically hold them in the air with the electricity. So that's cool. So you can basically just hold them indefinitely and then just try to unload with... I guess not indefinitely. I guess that there's a definite limit, huh? I guess he has a limit to how, how much he can be abused, so, um... I guess indefinitely was not it. Um, for some reason he decided not to pay attention to my electricity after a while. And I also noticed that it slightly moves forward. With, and it bounces off of objects, which is cool, I guess. I mean, I guess. I'm, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right. Ready for a thumbnail? Woo! There we go. Thumbnail! All right, well, that's going to be the end of the uh, lightning bow. If you guys liked it, make sure you leave a like down below. 
Um, I definitely say this is probably the second best bow in the game. Um, out of all the bows, I've tried them all. I've done a video on all of them. I would definitely say the green, the wolf bow, is the best for high rounding. Whoops. Definitely the best for high rounding because of the fact it can save you from certain situations. Uh, second place is the electric bow. And uh, I would say third place between the fire and the void bow. I think I might have to say the void bow. The fire's cool, but it doesn't seem like it has anything over the other ones. It just kind of like reses volcanoes that only really kill the zombies that it immediately attaches to. So it doesn't seem like really anything special. Also, the green bow is the easiest to get, so avoid bow being the hardest to get. But anyways, that's the video for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Also, this little recap that I have here at the end. Um, I would like to say I love these bows. A lot of them are very unique. Um, they all have different attacks, um, and they can be used differently um, from each other. So that's really, really cool, and I really do appreciate it. I really got to use the fire bow. Maybe I've missed something. But uh, anyways, that's been the video for you guys for today. My name's been Dacronic, and I will see you guys on the next one. Woo! Perhaps this will spark your interest, hell pigs. I think it, oh, it moves towards zombies. Oh, okay. The the tornado actually moves towards zombies. That's nice.